now I had to deal with everybody else and their stereotypes. One of which was, oh, so the gang should clearly be black or Hispanic. And I was like, no, 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 we've done that too much. In my neighborhood, there were Armenian gangs at the time. Not that you want to pick on any one group, but you know, it was a new group that hadn't been picked on too much on TV. I argued for a good solid two days in that room why it should be an Armenian gang. And I kept getting flack about, America doesn't understand that, they only understand these two groups, blah, 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 blah. And I was losing that battle. And one of the producers told me to shut up. And I kept talking. Because <laughs> I didn't want to lose that battle. Until, finally, the person who usurped me was the casting director, who knew that was the storyline we were playing with. And he came in the room and he said, I don't have an Armenian actor who can be a guest star. But I have this guy, Renali Santiago, who had just done Hackers, Con Air, and, oh, the Michelle Pfeiffer movie where she's a teacher and she used to be in the military. It's not standing good. Oh, Dangerous Minds. He had just starred in all three of those movies, and he was willing to do a television episode. So the casting director came in and said, we got him, he's Hispanic, that's the gang. And I lost the argument <laughs> based on the popularity of the guest actor they could get.